Hi folks, um, this is going to be a bit different. Um, I don't want to be known as nervous energy during this portion of YouTube kookiness. Uh, I want to be simply me, Chad Opitz. Um, let me tell you a little backstory before I get down to what I want to do. And uh, This past summer, I went over to Cleveland to do a couple performances. Um, uh, and one of them was an opening gig for an, a band called Batitude. Batitudemusic.com, you should check them out, they're awesome. And um, uh, I did my music set, and then they said they needed me to just go up there and dick around for a little bit while they got changed and such. So I was like, what the fuck am I going to do? What am I going to do? They said just get up there and do something. So I'd written down a bunch of like little jokes and stuff, and I was like, shit, I'll just bust those out and do a little comedy. And um, it went over like... I didn't. I would never dreamed. I uh, people were literally. They had to call several ambulances during it th via how hard people were laughing. Things were bursting in their insides. Um, blood from like eyeballs and ears was prevalent. I fucked uh, sixteen. Wh wait, fifteen women and one dude. Um, he looked like a chick, but um, it just really. It was a, it was a, a pretty amazing experience, and I was really happy that uh, it went over so well. And but it's been, you know, my the music thing is what I really want to do. But I've been looking into uh, getting this comedy thing going, and um, it's been really hard to get gigs. And um, the only possible reason that could be is that they're scared. People are scared. They don't want to hear the truth. They don't want honesty. They want cheap gags, which I'm just not about. And um, I basically what I'm trying to do with my comedy is expose... I want to take off the comedy shirt and show you its greasy back hair, basically. And um, a lot of people don't want that. They want that shit waxed, and I'm not going to do that. I, I'm talking about comedy, not me, by the way, if anybody was confused. Um... So I thought I'd present some of my some of my jokes here and see what you guys thought. And um I think this will probably get banned from YouTube real soon because it's just, you know, some of it can be considered controversial or um you know, just things people are just they don't want to hear. I don't sugarcoat things except for this delicious coffee which I put delicious sugar in to make it taste better. But comedy is not coffee, and um, I don't want to do that. I want my comedy black, like a gorgeous Nubian princess. So um, let me get to it. Uh, my dad said about my songs and my comedy, Son, most of this stuff, I'd be ashamed to call you my boy. Which, you know, I, I cried about that a little bit, but you know, he was just being honest, and that's what I want to be. So, um, let's get to this. Um, I went at a Hot Topic the other day, and um, I went up to the girl at the front, and I said, blowjobs. Because I thought that was a pretty, a pretty hot topic. But I guess it's not so hot a topic when you're not wearing skinny jeans. Uh, see, I don't have a lot of, I don't have a lot of money, so, um... I usually go and shop at uh, like dollar stores, you know, thrift discount places, and uh, I got this. Uh, it was uh, they have cheap versions of products, um, pink bismuth smack ramen. I bought a, a fragrance called Old Spick, and it's basically a combination. It smells like refried beans and nationalism. Now, a quick segue: that joke might be considered mildly racist. But I'd prefer if you considered it blatant. Um, everybody should do something for them, like to make them feel good about themselves. I feel, and um, this year uh, I'm gonna do what I did last year. I'm gonna make it a tradition, and uh, that's Christmas caroling for the deaf. You see, now that one's considered an on the way home, or you'll get it later on. Um, I have sex with a lot of women, and. Um, you know, big, small, just all, 
all kinds, like all races, all creeds. I don't, I don't discriminate in that regard. Not when it comes to fucking. I discriminate in other ways. Um, and, uh, you know, I kind of prefer the bigger ladies to the skinny ladies because, like, um, when I'm fucking a, 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 you know, kind of a plump woman, it feels like putting your penis inside of a warm muffin. Whereas the skinny ladies, kind of, I generally just feels like you're putting your cock in a coffin. And that doesn't, you know, I'm not a big fan of that one. Um, a lot of people are complaining about the economy, but uh, I feel it's a great excuse for not being able to maintain an erection. Um, <clears throat> I've often wondered why dogs... When you take them in the car, they stick their head out the window, but they really hate it when you go. <laughs> That's controversy, folks. They people don't want to hear that one. Um, sorry for exposing that. Um, how come when you punch a Korean three times in the hip, they explode? That just seems like faulty engineering to me. Um, I don't know what your opinion is about the band The Cure. You could like them. You could hate them, but there's no denying that they were way ahead of their time. They were faggy, shitty, and pretentious way before it was trendy. So, in that regard, they kudos to them. Um, I used to not be very into ladies that uh, shaved downstairs, but I'm starting to change my mind about it. And um, I've been really into it lately, like almost to a disturbing degree, and uh, I'm skipping, I'm just going straight to the chase, and I've started dating a seal, but if that fucker sings Kiss from a Ro Rose one more time, I'm just, he's out, I'm done with that guy, so, sorry dude, um, oh, lordy, I was talking with this girl once, and um, you know, I just, the kind of girl I go for, I'm, I'm basically most, I try to pursue women that are ashamed of their bodies, not because I find that attractive, I just, it's way easier to get in their pants, basically, and I don't really like to do a, a lot of work in that regard. Um, you know, um, I wonder if they were ever, like, when they came up with that phrase, never take a single breath for granted, they weren't thinking about people with asthma because I've taken plenty of breaths for granted because frankly they just weren't all that good you know so um, yeah um, let me leave you with a piece of advice that I learned from a friend and I think it's extremely important um, you never want to see the hole you came out of filled with nine inches of black dick it's oof not not a good time, not pleasant. Um, folks, I basically what I want to be is if laughter is the best medicine, I want to be your doctor, your abortion doctor, and I want every witty punchline to be the sharp coat hanger ready to get the job done. Thank you.